Ever since opening, Chicago's O Cheval has long been considered to serve one of the best burgers in the country. It's a burger that I've fallen in love with and have had a number of times in Chicago, but I wanted to try it at O Cheval's NYC location. I wanted to see if their burger was as amazing as the Chicago original. Right there behind me is the iconic Chicago West Loop restaurant of Au Chevelle. It is home to one of the greatest burgers that I've ever had in my entire life. And it's not just me. Many regard the burger as one of the very best in the country. Unfortunately, considering I live in New York City, it's not always easy to eat here. But luckily, there is a location in NYC, and that's what I want to try. I want to compare the two restaurants. I want to see if the NYC version can compete with the one I love here in Chicago, and especially I want to try the burger in New York City. I want to see if that's as good as the one that I've had here. So without any further delay, let's head to dinner. I'm back here in New York and I am very excited about dinner tonight. Although I'm a little embarrassed because back in Chicago, I mispronounced the name of the restaurant. It's not Oshavel, it's Oshavel. Loosely translated, Oshavel means to put an egg on it. And this restaurant is indeed a celebration of the egg and all of its beautiful yolky goodness. One can add an egg to almost any item on the menu, which is such a wonderful option to have. Believe me, I will definitely be having an egg on my burger, and I am so excited for it. I've been wanting to eat at the New York City location of Old Cheval for years, but thankfully it is about time to start heading towards dinner, so let's head to the restaurant. Ocheval is located right between the neighborhoods of Tribeca and Chinatown in the iconic Cortland Daly, which has long been used as a filming location for numerous movies and TV shows. While the original Ocheval in Chicago opened in 2012, NYC's location got its start in 2019. Both restaurants are part of Chicago restaurateur Brendan Sotokoff's Hog Salt Hospitality Group. While most of Sotokoff's restaurants are located in Chicago, he nevertheless has made a big impact in NYC, first with the opening of Four Charles Prime Rib in 2016, which to this day remains one of the most sought after reservations in the city. And most recently, Sotokoff has taken over and revived the iconic Monkey Bar in Midtown Manhattan. When I entered Ocheval, a couple of minutes after it opened, my first sight was actually of Swada Coffee, which is a separate coffee shop located within the restaurant. I've been a huge fan of the Swada Outpost in Chicago, which is located within Hog Salt Hospitality's barbecue restaurant, Green Street Smoked Meats. Their coffee has always been on point, plus the establishment serves the incredible donuts from the Donut Vault. While I can't speak to the quality of the NYC location yet, it was nevertheless nice to see one of my favorite Chicago coffee shops in New York. Now, I didn't show up with a reservation for a couple of reasons. For one thing, the restaurant charges $2.50 for making a reservation online, which doesn't seem to be credited to one's bill later. Although I'm not sure on that one because Sotokov's other NYC restaurant, Fort Charles Prime Rib, was more specific in regards to their reservation fee. Even though $2.50 isn't a lot of money, it's the principle of paying for something that I feel should always be free. Now, I don't mind paying an upfront cost if it will be credited to my bill later, but I'm not down with reservation fees. Recently, there was a great article on Eater New York about the subject, and I understand the problems restaurants face when reservations are not honored, but there has to be a better way. So I skipped the reservation, and it didn't seem like it's very difficult to acquire a spot at the restaurant anyways. As a walk-in, it wouldn't have been a problem for me to get a seat at the counter, but I asked for a table mainly because it would be easier for me to film and make my video. Fortunately, there was a table available, but I could only have it for an hour and 10 minutes, which I didn't think would be a problem, but unfortunately it was. Was. In regards to the interior of the restaurant, I really liked it. It's much larger and far more elegant than the Chicago location, which more closely resembles a diner than the NYC spot. When I began looking at the menu, I was once again reminded of the Chicago restaurant, which warmed my heart. However, the food au Chevelle serves may possibly stop one's heart because it's not exactly healthy. Although it is very good and can be interpreted as modern and elevated diner fare. But I knew what I was getting, the burger, with both the bacon and egg and a set of fries. When it was presented to me, my eyes lit up. There's no denying the sheer beauty of this American classic. Ocheval's burger contains two patties cooked on a griddle and topped with sharp American cheddar cheese, Dijonese, onions, and pickles. In addition, my burger contains a well-seasoned fried egg along with thick-cut maple-glazed bacon. It was finally time to dig in. Au 
Cheval's burger creates smiles, happy moments, and an appreciation of life. It's one of the most delicious burgers one could ever have. Quite frankly, there's a lot that goes on with each bite. You first taste the beef, which is perfectly cooked. They're nicely seared with a pleasant Maillard char. Then there's the classic American cheese, which envelops the beef patties in its perfect meltiness. The Dijonese lends a bit of creaminess to the sandwich, while the pickles give a light but welcome sourness. These elements create a great burger, but Ocheval's offering is truly complete with the bacon and egg. With the yolk punctured, the egg adds a luscious mouthfeel and another savory and spectacular flavor profile. The bacon is amazing and it's some of the best that I've ever had. It's just so big and thick that it could stand alone as an appetizer. In fact, one could actually order it separately as a side. The bacon is perfectly cooked and even though it's so sizable, it's not tough at all and melds perfectly with the rest of the burger. Its maple flavor lends a sweet profile to the sandwich while the pepper coating the pork just gives it that extra pop. Together, all of the components of Ocheval's burger work in tandem to fashion a masterpiece. Although, even though the bun does a great job of holding everything together, it is a pretty messy burger, but it's worth it. On the side, I enjoyed the fries with a garlic aioli dipping sauce. They were nice and satisfying with a great flavor, a proper crisp, and the right level of salt. Combined with the delicious and creamy garlic aioli, the fries were a top-notch side in the ideal pairing with my burger. I was really enjoying my dinner. One of my all-time favorite comfort meals is just a good juicy burger and fries, and Ocheval's example was first-rate. I've gotta say, Ocheval's burger is just as good in the New York location compared to the Chicago original. I was very happy, but I was also getting nervous. I still wanted to get dessert, but it took me longer to eat that burger than I thought. By the time I finished, I only had about 15 minutes to order, eat my dessert, and pay the bill before I had to surrender my table. All day, I was thinking about the Milfoy I would order for dessert, but I didn't want to rush things, so I just asked for my bill. I should have just moved to the counter, but I wasn't thinking clearly, and I wasn't too enthused about the prices. In total, my dinner came to $47.69, but with my tip, I spent just under $60, which is not cheap for a burger and fries, but at least it was amazing. Oh, that was so good. I loved every single bite of that burger. I mean, it was just as good as the burger that I fell in love with within Chicago. That remains one of my all-time favorite burgers, period. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm extremely ticked off that I wasn't able to get the Zurich. I was planning to get the Milfoy, I was looking forward to that all day, and alas, no dessert. But that's just the way it is. It's a popular restaurant, I think I was lucky to get a table to begin with. Next time, I'll certainly know better. But I, of course, still have to satisfy my sweet tooth, so uh, I got another place. I headed up to the Lower East Side to eat at Morgan Stern's Bananas, which was celebrating their grand opening that very day. It's a soft-serve, dairy-free ice cream shop. The phrase dairy-free isn't something that excites me, but the regular Morgan Stearns is one of my favorite places for ice cream in NYC, so I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. I got a regular cup of the Sumo Yuzu flavor topped with confetti jewels. The ice cream was delicious and very refreshing, but it didn't have that robust body of a typical soft serve. It almost felt like I was eating a sorbet palate cleanser. As far as the confetti jewels, they proved to be a good topping as it added another flavor profile and texture to the dessert. While I do prefer dairy in my soft serve, I nevertheless enjoyed Morgan Stern's offering and my sweet tooth was satisfied. So that definitely hit the spot. I really enjoyed my ice cream, but I'm gonna be honest, anytime I hear the phrases dairy-free, fat-free, sugar-free for that matter, what I hear gets translated to free of fun. But the reality of it is, Morgan Stern's Bananas serves good food, and that's what counts. However, I still want my damn Milfoy. Meh, it's really just a small hiccup in an otherwise very pleasant evening with some truly great food. Ocheval's Burger is without a doubt one of the best burgers in Chicago, and it's also one of the best burgers in NYC. And it's definitely one of my all-time favorite burgers. The Ocheval Burger is a masterpiece. 